Let's talk some Oregon Ducks recruiting. There's a lot going on out there in Eugene. So in this video, I got Justin Hopkins from Scoop Duck on. He's going to take us behind the scenes of Oregon's big visit weekend. But first, Oregon fans, hit subscribe to the On3 Recruits page. We talk recruiting. We talk Oregon. Go ahead, hit subscribe for me. All right, let's bring on the great Justin Hopkins of Scoop Duck. And uh, before we get on these big names on campus, because there were some big names on campus over the weekend, four-star wide receiver Adrian Wilson, right before the weekend began, decommitted from Oregon. Why? Yeah, I think if you're, you know, kind of looking at Oregon and tracking that a little bit, you know, Wilson uh, was a highly ranked guy. And just throughout the course of, the, of winter and, and then spring that we're into, you know, you've seen his, his ranking kind of drop. I think there was a little bit of concerns there on Oregon's side and felt that, hey, let's just, you know, let's part ways at this point. Uh, you know, tons of time in your recruitment, tons of time, you know, for us to, you know, evaluate our own board. And I, I just think at the end of the day, that was the best thing for both sides. It doesn't mean that they couldn't circle back on Wilson, although I, I kind of doubt that they will. Uh, you know, but once again, they've got some other guys really high on their board. We're about to talk about some of them because they just visited. And uh, I think Oregon feels really good about where they're at, uh, at least at wide receiver recruiting. All right. Yeah. Okay. They get rid of it. They're, they part ways. Just more room for activities on that commit list. All right. <laughs> big names on campus. We're looking at quarterback Hooson Longstreet out of California. He had a big weekend. Oregon, Ole Miss, Auburn, three schools all over the weekend. Uh, what are you hearing now? Hooson Longstreet is from the state of California. Can the Ducks keep him out west? I don't think so. You know, I think Oregon is not necessarily late to the game here, but with the very early commitment of Akili Smith Jr., right. you know, he's obviously, you know, firmly committed to Oregon. And it, it is difficult to take two prep quarterbacks in a class, as we both know. Um, I think they continue to recruit Longstreet just to kind of make sure and, and continue to eval evaluate him. It's always best to have more options than fewer but I think right now you're looking, I think Auburn, Ole Miss, and some of these other schools have a leg up on Oregon. I do think partially because of the commitment of Smith and just because of kind of where things are at right now. Yeah, it's a want, not necessarily a need to land a second prep high school quarterback at Oregon. Um, but what is a need is offensive line, and they had two mammoths on campus. Start, we'll start with Juan Gaston. He's from Atlanta, Georgia. He goes six, seven and a half, three hundred and forty-five 345 pounds. Justin, if you got on my shoulders, I don't think we would be six, seven and a half, let alone 345 pounds. Uh, Juan Gaston, though, like I said, he is from Atlanta, Georgia. Is there any connection, or is are the Ducks just going big swing here? Yeah, big swing. It's kind of a weird class for offensive tackle, right? You've kind of got that upper group of guys, which isn't especially deep, but there's that group. And then it's kind of a lot of evaluation. So a guy like Gaston, you know, certainly has the size. Uh, Alik Terry, Oregon's offensive line coach, has actually done a really good job there early on and has Oregon in the mix. But as we both know, he's gonna. it's going to be tough. Uh, mm -hmm. Offensive tackles are going to come at a premium in this cycle you know guys on the east coast are always going to be tough you know georgia everybody that's you know recruiting at a high levels in the mix there so i think uh, if you're oregon you're hoping gaston takes his time with his recruitment this is the first visit of what they hope will be many and so if you're the ducks you hope that maybe he takes his thing into the summer or possibly the fall and and you can get him back for at least an official visit or, or possibly more all right, now we got another offensive tackle I want to talk about, and uh, he's from Utah, Aaron Dunn. He also goes six, seven and a half, only 288, so a little bit leaner than Gaston, but still six, seven and a half. Now, he is from Utah, and the Ducks are leading on the recruiting prediction machine. Just a slight lead over BYU. How are you feeling about this recruitment? Yeah, so as I said a, a moment ago, we've got that upper group of offensive tackles and then a lot of guys that you're evaluating, which there's nothing wrong with that. That's why that's why recruiting is so long. Uh, you know, in the, in the case of Aaron Dunn, I do think uh, this was his first visit to Oregon. So once again, you're probably hoping to get him back on campus. Uh, spoke to him very briefly, and he did say that this was eye-opening, as you would expect. Mm -hmm. uh, but it sounds like he's just scratching the surface of his recruitment, right? He's just kind of getting started. He's got more visits lined up. So I think Oregon has certainly put themselves in the game here. I don't believe that Dan Lanning will take a lot of projects in this class. Not that Dunn is necessarily a project, but I know you understand what I mean there. But, yeah, so I think the Ducks are, are in the game here. Uh, but this one will take time. 
I know, you know, BYU and some others are also in the mix, but, uh, um, you know, you can't teach six foot seven, 288 pounds, as we both know. Yeah. Uh, now, with Adrian Wilson, the wide receiver, off the commit list, the next two wide receivers kind of gain a little bit more importance. We'll talk about Chris Lawson. He's from the state of California, and this is a close battle between Oregon and USC on the RPM. Uh, what do you feel about Chris Lawson's recruitment now that the visit has taken place? Yeah, I think Oregon has quietly prioritized Chris Lawson very early on. I know that they really love a lot of things about his game and the way he fits um, I think the Ducks are probably one of the top two or top three teams uh, early on in his recruitment here. Uh, this past week, <clears throat> excuse me, they had three receivers on campus. You know, Chris Lawson, and we'll talk about we'll talk about uh, um, one of the others here in a moment. But Philip Bell also visited from California, so the Ducks were very active there. I think they have prioritized Lawson. I know USC is in the mix as well, and I think that the Ducks are going to really push hard here. And uh, you know, once again, getting back on campus, he's he's mentioned he'd be back in June for an official visit at the very least. All right. Uh, next up is Cooper Perry, and he's interesting. He's out of Scottsdale, Arizona, and over the last 24 hours, the picks have been coming in for Oregon. Oregon Ducks are now trending on the recruiting prediction machine. Uh, what are you hearing about Cooper Perry and his recruitment? Yeah, I think for a while, Oregon's been the team to beat and everybody's, you know, kind of chasing the ducks. And this is one of those guys that, you know, when I do it like a next five to commit, his name's been in there almost every time for the last month or so. So I think Perry has been really working towards a decision. I think as Oregon is is coming ahead of their spring game here in a couple of weeks, I think they're going to start to look for a little bit of recruiting momentum on the trail, maybe get a guy or two to, you know, possibly make an early commitment and kind of make a splash around that. So, and I think Cooper Perry is very much one of those guys that could possibly, uh, you know, make that commitment. So that's what, I, what I'm looking for here. I know the other picks have come in and I totally think that they're justified. I think the Ducks lead here. All right. Well, you know, you think it could be Cooper Perry. What do you guys think? Let me know. Comment section below. Who do you think is going to be Oregon's next big commitment? Let me know. Thank you for watching this video. And if you enjoyed that, go check out the hundreds of videos that we have on this channel. And also do me a favor, hit subscribe to the On3 Recruits channel.